And it's Ashley Catch Guy here for another video. Uh, doing Cosmic Eclipse finally. I actually got these like Tuesday of this week. Uh, today's Saturday. Got these Tuesday of this week, but for some reason didn't have time to open them. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do it now. Um, as far as what it is, I have one booster box this time because one of them hasn't come yet. There was a problem with the distributor, and so they told me uh, they wouldn't come until later in the week. Um, so I'm doing one booster box today, and then also, man, that's bad. Um, and then also a few. Like there's the two promo packs and uh, the Elite Trainer box. I'm doing that today. Here's the code. All right, put that there. And then let's see what we got today. I see something shiny. All right, so we got the Alolan Meowth as the reverse. And since today's the first day, I don't have any of these. All right, and already we got the Snivy and Venusaur tag team card. Um, pretty sweet looking card. I'm hoping to get the Charizard just because, you know, it's a Charizard. So hopefully I get that, but we'll see how it goes. Um, that was literally the first pack. So I'm going to say that this is going to be a good opening altogether. That was, so I have them separated right now. The booster box I'm going to do last. These are, these are the, late, the Elite Trainer box. So the first pack in the Elite Trainer box was a good one. Let's see what else we can do out of this. Um, I remember I need to save one of these packs. Um, but if not, I'm still, I still got another box coming. So I'm not tripping if I can't save a pack, but we'll try. Anyway, this one's a crap green code. All right, there's the code for you. And looks like Sunflora is the reverse and Credilly is the rare. I'll have to sort all these later because <laughs> there's too much to sort on camera. But anyway, so uh, I guess the card that I really want to get, I don't really know what like the chase card is in the set. I haven't really been paying attention recently because I've been mainly focused on like paying attention to Hidden Fate stuff and seeing how those prices fluctuate. Um, so I don't know what the chase card is in this set, but uh, you know it's either going to be the, at least in my opinion, the guess. Oh, there we go. All right. So we got one of the, um, I don't know if these are considered alternate arts or just <laughs> different art. I don't know. Um, but pretty, pretty card altogether. It's got some sparkles on it. Also, it's just regular reverse hollow foil. Full art. I don't like the yellow border. Um, a lot of people were complaining about that. And I think Somewhere they saw like they were showing these cards without the yellow border, um, so it's kind of lame that they have them. But you know, it still looks pretty pretty. I like that pretty pretty. Um, so yeah, so I like it. I'll take it. Um, so so far we got two good cards in my opinion. Um, but anyway, I think the chase card is either the Charizard or um, what I want the secret rare uh, trio. Oop, 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 oop. So we got Solgaleo. And another sun floor. Actually, I think I had the reverse of that sun floor. So it's a sun floor I don't have. But anyway, the chase card, I think it's Arceus. Uh, I forgot to show the code. Hold on. There we go. Um, I think it's Arceus, uh, Palkia, and Dialga, if I'm not mistaken. But the uh, secret rare for that, or the alternate art, which I can't remember which one it is. But whatever the one it is, it's not a original rare. It's like the artwork looks like it's like ancient and... Um, here we go. White code card. See what we got. Um, the artwork looks ancient and it just looks really sweet. So I'm really hoping to pull it. Um, if not today, then maybe. Sorry. There we go. Sunflora. Or I'm sorry, Sunkern. And Ultra Necrozma. I think it looks pretty, pretty nice, doesn't it? All right. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping to pull it just because, like I said, I really want. That's like the card in the set that I'm like that card is absolutely gorgeous um so even if i don't get any of the chase cards even if that's not a chase card it's worth a dollar i don't care that's the card i really want to pull just because i like the artwork on that the most out of all the stuff in here um so if i can pull that i will be happy with the rest of my pulls i don't really care what else i get um aside from i mean obviously i was try i go for master sets for whatever i'm getting so my goal is always to get every card but obviously that's not always easy let's see what we got and reverse okay so when i was playing the previous term this was a really good card to have um, not so much now necessarily, but yeah, and the, actually that, that feel and somebody used that against me and it, I think it worked well for them. Um, cause they were like doing a deck where they literally just kept burning through their cards and then they would never deck out cause they could always do that as long as I had cards on my bench. Or whatever, so pretty nifty for them. But anyway, um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to get that card. Like I said, I don't know if it's a chase card, but just because of how pretty it is, it probably is a chase card. I would imagine it is. Um, just cause like I said, if I was, oops. Oh, there we go. I'll say, what did I mess up? There's the reverse Absol. Um, and then Walren is the rare. Um, but yeah, I feel like that'd be uh, the card. But anyway, so I guess aside from that card, that really pretty card that I'm hoping to get, if I could get, I'm tearing these packs apart. It's ugly. So this is the last card in the Elite Trainer box. Um, 
let's see, it looks like it was a green code, so it's not gonna be anything good. Sveal and Mimikyu. I think that card's gonna get a lot of play just because of its ability. Um, because I feel like that'd be really annoying for people. Uh, okay, so now we're on to the promo pack. So I had the divider to separate it anywhere. Um, but I feel like it's gonna be really annoying because they'll do, like, you know, if somebody's running a deck with, say, Mew and Mewtwo, like a Mewtwo deck. Um, what? Oh, I forgot. Okay, so I also got a single pack. <laughs> so we'll see what the single pack is. It was in, like, the little mini album pack, or mini album container, so. Uh, not expecting much. Usually those type of containers, I don't get anything good. But actually, it looks like I got an out green code. <laughs> so, there's the code for that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it'd be really good if you could have some, uh, you know, some type of damage spread. Um, you could knock out everybody's ability. So, like, so let's just say the coughing deck, where essentially every turn the coughing's in play, if it's a basic, which all most of the good GXs right now are basic, basics, like all the te the team up cards, or the tag team cards are basics, and so um, you can literally put a damage counter on each one of those, and it would knock out all their abilities. So that means until Mewtwo heals, he would essentially be useless. Um, which I mean, Mewtwo can heal himself with his attack. He obviously you could also use stuff like Max Potion and other healing things to get him back so that he can actually attack. But it, it would just be annoying. Um, so I feel like they do it a lot because, like I said, every time you put damage on him. They'd have to take it off in order to use the car. Um, I think there's something good coming up. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's the Arceus card. All right, not, but we got a full art. And that's a pretty full art. It's Rosa. Uh, I haven't actually read this, but I like the way it looks. Pretty gorgeous. I actually look like the bottom is might be a little, well, whatever. I can't really tell. I'll look at it later. Um, all right, so we got my full first full art, aside from that alternate art full art thing, like the pretty one that I got in the Elite Trainer box. All right, and these are like the promo pack, so I'm happy this isn't even a box yet. So, like I guess it's so far I'm happy this is, I don't know if you saw my Broken Bonds video, but oh my goodness, that was the worst pulls of my life. Like, in that, I opened four boxes, got like three secret rares or something stupid, which has never happened to me before. Because um, generally speaking, you're supposed to get at least one secret rare when you do a box. It's not guaranteed, because nothing is, but that set was just screwing me over left and right. Um... So that's the reverse, and this is the regular rare, which, look at the artwork on that. That's pretty cool. Um, I like when they do artwork and the feature stuff that's interesting like that. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, Unbroken Bonds was the worst set I've ever had when it comes to pulls. Um, obviously, I didn't get the chase card. Didn't even get a full art. That was any, I mean, I, I did get a couple good full arts, don't get me wrong. I got some good cards, but I didn't get any of the... Charizard cards that I wanted because like I said those are just going to be expensive so I try to get stuff like that in a box so I don't have to buy it later um but it didn't happen so Ducklet and Decidueye Hollow uh looks pretty cool I think it I, <laughs> I mean I'm not like an artist but I feel like I could have drawn that better than the person did it. it looks too bent for me like I feel like the arrow should have been pointed more at the camera if you know I'm the camera that it's pointing at I guess I should. Anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining about the artwork. It's not my place. I'm not. <laughs> I didn't get paid for that. So what can I really say? You know, that person put a lot of time into it and they got paid for it. So can I really talk? Um, because I did not. All right. No. Hey, white coat. Let's see what we get. Hopefully a secret rare because this is just the three promos or the three promo packs. So if I get a secret rare in one of those, I will be extremely happy because I never do. <laughs> Magnemite and all right. Got another full art and it's the Venusaur and Snivy. So the I got the regular and now the full art. I did a secret rare. I don't have a complete three of those. Um, so no secret rare, but I'm happy with that. I, I highly doubt I'm going to get anything else good. Usually, I mean, the fact that I got two full arts in the promos, I'm happy with that. Because, like, usually I have to get my full arts and secret rares out of the booster box. So, um, so far, like I said, I'm really liking uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Like, I've seen some people post polls on, excuse me, seen some people post polls on Facebook. And it seems like everybody tends to be getting some good stuff that I've seen. Um, so I don't know if it's just everything's everybody's cases are better or what. Um, it's got another one of those. But either way, like I said, I've seen some good stuff pulled. I'm pulling some good stuff. Um, and I'm just starting. And like I said, I have another box coming. So hopefully more good things to come. Um, I'm still really hoping that I can get the one with the really sweet art. Um, because like I said, it's just the artwork on it. Like I, if you know what card I'm talking about, you know exactly what I'm saying. Like the artwork on that thing is just phenomenal. Um, some of the best artwork, I think, for a card, if you're into that type of art. Um, like, it's just, I don't know, it's gorgeous. I'm just not talking about it. <laughs> but, all right, Buzzwall. I had this in my pre-release tournament. Um, didn't win. I ended up doing, all right, there we go. So, I did it. All right. I don't believe it. I got a secret rare in my promo packs. That's the first for me. Um, let me see if I can get a little closer about the shadow. 
messing it up too much. I actually want this card um, for play when I play online, just because I usually run a Mewtwo and Dark deck. Like it's a it's a Mew, it's not a Mew Mew deck. Like strictly speaking, it's got Mewtwo and Mew in it. But and now we on to the booster box. I'll split it in half though, or about half. I just took some off because I don't think. Um, but anyway, yeah. So in the the deck I run, uh, one of the decks I run because I run a bunch. Um, one of the decks I run that has seen a decent amount of success. Um, it's dark and psychic. There's, it's not. There's no psychic recharge. Oh wait, no. Sorry, there is psychic recharge. So it's got Malamar in it. Um, there's a starting out good again. So white coat card on top. If it's the thing, I'm gonna scream. My, my kid's not asleep yet, so I'm gonna have to scream while I can. Let me move this a little bit because it's too high for the camera to focus. All right. So reverse is EV. I think I already have one of those, but that's all right. And nothing. Wait, wasn't it? Am I the only one that thought? <laughs> wasn't that a a white coat card? Like, am I tripping? And why is that upside down? going on with that so do white code cards there's definitely a white code card huh so all right that might be some evidence that the white code card trick or not trick but you know way to figure out whether or not it's a good pack that might be a thing of the past because that was a white code card and i did not get a hollow unless i just wasn't looking right at that uh drapeon or what, not drapeon whatever that thing was called the seahorse looking thing um unless that was a hollow and i just didn't notice then yeah, there we go. There's a whole code. Unless I just didn't notice. So, I don't know. I guess I'll go back through and look and see. But <laughs> I think the art on this is funny because it's, like, yellowed out. Like, I don't know. You can hardly even tell what it is, but it's still kind of funny to me. All right. That looks like a hollow, right? Wait a minute. All right. So, I'm going to say it's officially, because that was the last code. I'm going to say it's officially done. That's a hollow, and it was in a green code pack. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to say it. It's officially done. The white code cards being a good thing. Is no longer a thing <laughs> that doesn't mean that when you get a white coat it won't be good but it's just not a guarantee hollow anymore like it could be either way because i just showed uh if you're paying attention <laughs> if you weren't just watching for the codes um i just showed yeah like i said this, this we'll see what happens on this one but this is a green there's the code i don't know if it's going to happen for this or not but traditionally green codes you would not get anything. Oh man, I already have that. Dang it. He was in the same box too. It's my luck. All right, this is not a house. So it didn't, it's not like it's reversed. Like all the greens are now uh, good and all the whites are bad. But still, like I said, I showed a thing and it definitely, the white code, no hollow, green code, there was a hollow. So, all right. So now I like that better. I don't like it when you know whether or not it's going to be a good pack because it kind of makes you not care about what comes out of the pack. Whereas now, you never know. So I'm not even going to look at the back of these anymore because. Doesn't really matter. There's a vault picks with some pretty art. I like it. And then Whimsicott. Okay. So um, has anyone else noticed that? The energies have been upside down in my packs. See, like this is right side up. This is the energy. It's upside down. Um, nothing else is upside down. Just the energy. Is that normal? Anyone else have that? Um, I wish it meant I had error packs. <laughs> uh, like I, I know they didn't release it for these, but like the one of the, the set that came out around this time in Japan... I think it was gonna. Oh, it was the like tag all stars or something like that had god packs in it. Look at that. The code is backwards. Like, what's going on with these packs? I don't understand. It's a white code. Let's see what happens. So it's reversed. Maybe it's just the production quality has gone down so bad that they don't even pay attention anymore. So hakamo, 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 and nope. All right. So yeah, there we go. Another proof. That's a regular card. No hollow. But it was a white code. So. And the energy is upside down again. I'm going to say it's a trend. It's not like it was an air pack. Um, it'd be nice if I get an air pack. Like, you have people, they'll be opening packs, and then all of a sudden there's all hollows in there. <laughs> like, I've never had luck like that. Like, the worst, or the, not even, yeah, I've never had a good air pack. The worst I've had when it comes to an air pack is I had writing on one of my cards out of the pack. And it wasn't a, a repack. Oh, I got a tag team coming. I saw it. I saw it. And this is a green code, so that's more proof that that doesn't matter. Um, let's see. Straight to the reverse. What do we got? Togomodaro. Togomodaro. Togodamaro. That's what I meant. And what? I know I saw a team up. What in the world? Am I losing my mind? So that's just regular Lunala. Oh, <laughs> dang it. It's a, it's a tag team trainer. <laughs> All right. So at least now I know. But yeah, it's still a hollow in there. So the green card thing further proven to be no longer accurate. Um, I mean, that, that's how it was, though, back in... Uh, XY, if I'm not mistaken, those didn't mean anything. And if not of all of XY, it was definitely a part of some of XY. The code cards didn't mean anything. So it's not like that's abnormal. I need to speed it up because my camera's going to have low battery soon. 
Uh, all right, so we got another. Oh, that looks sweet. I love it. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, it's another one of those reverses. Please be a secret right next. That'd be sweet too. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> There was hoping, but all right. I need to, like I said, I need to speed this up and stop talking so much because my camera is at 25%. And usually, when it starts getting low like that, the battery does not do too well. So, I'm just blow through these, try to show the codes as quick as I can. You can pause it or something if you need it. Um, if anybody's even watching these, for all I know, nobody watches my videos. I don't know. I get like one or two views <laughs> anyway. Okay, no hollow in that. Hopefully, I don't bend any cards by mistake because I don't like damage cards. All right, I'm gonna have to save the packs from the next box. This one is not getting it. All right, there we go. Mm, mm, mm. Nothing good in this one. I accidentally showed it to myself. Psyduck and Slurp Buff, which I think is such a weird name. Slurp. I mean, part of the name just sounds weird to me. But, you know, whatever. I didn't create these white code, but nothing proven for that. Man, I'm like, all right, let's see what we got. Reverses Victini, which I think that's also a really playable card. No, not this one, sorry. The other Victini. <laughs> There's another Victini that's really playable. Um, it was actually on the promo. It's like a, it, it can attach energy. So when I say really playable, it depends on the deck you're running. Because I think it's two different types of energy. So if you're running like a Legendary Burge Trio deck, then yeah, that it's definitely playable for that. Um, and I've seen some people use it against me, and I wasn't happy, of course. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right, so... And Whimsicott GX. That's the first GX I've had in, since the very first, like regular GX, since the very first pack. Um, and this is a booster box. Like, how do I <laughs> so far, I've had better luck in the non-booster box, box stuff, which, I mean, I only bought two booster boxes, which is rare. Normally, I'll buy three to four. Well, let's say normally. Recently, I've been buying three to four. Um, and in this one, I only got two just because, like I said, I've been trying to pretty much focus in on Hidden Fates. And so, I haven't really bought much else. Um, just because I want to, I mean, once I get the Charizard out of there, I won't care anymore because... It's, I'm not like one of those people that follows the hype and I'm like, oh, I have to have the Charizard because everyone else has a Charizard. Like, I want it so I don't have to buy it later. Because even though it'll probably, it's definitely gone down since it first came out. Like, that one person sold it for 10 grand and everybody else has tried to follow in their footsteps and no one's even come close. Um, but ever since then, everyone's been going crazy about it. And that's part of the reason why the text is so hard to find because you have flippers finding it and being like, oh, I'm going to make 10 grand off of it. So they're trying their hardest. Like, I don't know how many listings I see on eBay just go with no bids because they're trying to get way too much money out of it. It's like nobody wants to pay that for these cards. That one time, somebody they just got lucky, basically. Um, one person wanted that card that bad that they wanted to pay 10 grand. They just happened to have it, and they did it. It wasn't like it's a, a regular thing for that type of thing to happen. Matter of fact, I don't think that's ever happened before. Um, especially this one. You know, maybe after years and years of it sitting and it being something that's hard to find. Yeah, but I mean, the print. Oh, here we go. We got a secret rare. Oh, please be the, the one I want. Please be it. Nope. But okay, that's cool. It's a tag. Oh, it looks pretty sweet. It's a tag team. I said secret rare, but it's not a secret rare. It's just a full art. Tag team full art. Now that is pretty cool. I like it. Wait, no. Yeah, I like it. I didn't know that was the reverse. Um, I like them doing it like that because it looks almost like a secret rare, but it's not. It's just a tag team, but I dig it. I dig it. I hope there's a lot more like that, just as far as like the way the, the hollow is on it and stuff like that. So... All right, let's see. Almost done one stack, and then we got one more after that, and then we're done. Let's see what we got, see what we got. Nothing good. Torque hole. All right, you go in there. Ember is not a hollow, so you're going into the pile. I think I missed a code card back, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. Ooh, no. I just dropped the code. Ah, trying to hurry. Sorry, like I said, I don't want my camera to die in the middle of the video. I hate that because then the video is essentially wasted. All right, I got that one. I've seen this one before and it does look pretty sweet, but I still think the one I got earlier, the wishy-washy, I think that's the prettiest one I've seen yet. Um, I'm really happy I got that. Like I said, I hadn't even seen it, but I love the artwork on that. Like just them being underwater and stuff is pretty cool. So I don't know how many of these there are. I think there's eight of those alternate art reverses. They're just like regular cards, but still somehow an alternate art. I think I got a full art in this one. I think I saw it. Um, now, if it's the Charizard, that'd be sweet. Come on, Charizard. The reverse is Cosmog. Oh, so it's not a full art. It's just the tag team, which, like I said, I really want this in um, online. So I, I bought, like, I have, like, so much money on my online account. Like, the not money, but the coins. Um, it's not even funny. Like, I just don't spend it very often. So I have a ton. And so, like, I just bought 36 packs, and I still have, like, enough for, like, another... I don't know, 70 or 80 packs on there. So 
I'll, I'm just going to open them like one at a time though, like or 36 at a time. So I'm going to buy 36, open them. If I get two of the Nagana Dells, then I'll stop and then I'll just save it for the next time I want to buy something. Um, cause like I said, that's really the only pack. I mean, I might get that, might, the Mimikyu might be useful just to block so many people. Like I said, it'd be really annoying, I think, for a lot of people. So I might get the Mimikyu or look for the Mimikyu, but it's not going to be as hard to pull as the Nagana Dell. So, so yeah, I'm not one of those people, like I collect in person and I play online. If I have a card in my collection online, cool. But I'm not all pressed over having like a full collection online. Like I could care less. Um, cause for me, digital is not the same thing as real. So some people they are i'm not trying to knock those people like some people think that and that's cool uh more power to you but i'm not one of them so i just want my physical collection the online collection excuse me that matter to me as long as i can play so it's more about the good cards so i guess i'm more a player online oh, honestly it's the only reason i do online is to play and in person i'm only a collector i don't get a chance to play because there's no one around me to play with so it sounds so sad it makes me sound like a sad child uh oh look at that that rosa i already got sweet i like it. it's pretty anyway um yeah there's just like i live in in west virginia out in the middle of, not out in the middle of nowhere um but there's no one around here that plays pokemon everybody plays magic so i get shorted on that so I, like the closest to me is pittsburgh and i go up there for like the pre-release tournaments and things like that oh, that's pretty cool via plume i like the way the art looks on it but still not my no secret rare so far so i'm, I'm really hoping i get one it's no secret rares but i did have the one full art so usually for me in a box i'll get one full art and one or two full arts and one secret rare so hopefully in this will wow i don't know if you can see it that's warped that's pretty funny no well <laughs> so hopefully it's still readable for somebody um but anyway like i said i'll get two full arts and one secret rare so i'm hoping to at least get that um because that would be great. But even if I don't, and I just get two full arts or something, I'll still be happy. I'm not going to complain. It'd be nice if I got that card I was talking about that I really want. But if I don't, um, it's not the end of the world. I did already get one secret rare, and I already got two full arts. All right, we got another one of those. And there's these. I really hope they keep doing this, because they put it in the reverse slot. And so it's not like you have to worry about it taking away your secret rares or full arts or anything. Um, so it's almost like it's the same slot that the Prism Stars went in. Um, so I kind of hope they keep doing that because it, it's it does the collectors uh, some fanfare like they're kind of happy about that. Uh, at least I'm a collector and I'm happy about it. Um, like Prison Stars are cool and everything, but their artwork wasn't super cool. Whereas this is a lot cooler than normal. So I like that. Ooh, I haven't seen that card. I'm going to read that later. Um, so I like that about it. So I'm really hoping they really continue in that vein. Um, which, by the way, I haven't really talked about it yet because I hadn't really thought about it until now. But I'm kind of bummed out for all the repeat reverses I've gotten because if you didn't already know, this set is the biggest set Pokemon has ever released. Um, seems to be the trend. They keep on releasing bigger and bigger sets, um, which obviously makes it harder and harder to collect a master set. And that's what I go for. So I'm not happy about that. Um, but what am I going to do? So I'm hoping they go backwards and go back to like XY numbers. Because you know, they really blew up the amount of cards that were in the set for one. But then also they blew up the secret rares. Like in XY, it was one to three secret rares in a, in a thing. I don't think there was ever more than that except for the heck code. Except for evolutions, but those secret rares don't even really count. Like, I mean, yeah, they're secret rares, but nobody really cared about them. So they were the least cared secret rare of all time. They're still only worth like about a dollar. Probably couldn't even find anybody to buy it if you were selling for that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go back to not XY uh, evolutions specifically, but I do want it to go back to how the secret rares were done back then, where you only had four, like one to two. Um, it was a lot easier to collect. Okay, so we got something tag team of some sort. All right, Blastoise and Plip up. So, <laughs> so far, it looks like my luck is going to be the exact opposite of what I was hoping for. Um, like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm happy with what I got so far. Um, definitely better than Unbroken Bonds. It wasn't as good as Unified Minds. Unified Minds, I definitely got a Secret Rare and a f two Full Arts in every single box that I opened. Um, but then again, I didn't get a Secret Rare in the Elite Trainer box or the promos. And then this one, I got um, a Secret Rare in the promos and an Elite Trainer box had a Full Art and a GX. So, you know, could have been worse for sure. Definitely open elite trainer boxes with nothing like except for maybe one to two GXs, but nothing like secret rare. Why? Oh, I got something. I think it's my secret rare. Please let it be the trio, dear God. Please let this be the trio right now. That would make me super happy. Okay. 
Yes, it is. All right. Okay, so God answers prayers if anybody was doubting in the past. I watched the camera die now, and I don't even care at this point. So this is the um, secret rare I was talking about. It's not actually a secret rare. It's just an alternate art. Um, it's 221 out of 236. So not a secret rare, but the artwork on this, I love it. Like, this will probably be my favorite card at this point. Um, like, I mean, you can kind of see my shadowing is really bad in here, but like, look at that thing. It's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm definitely happy. Like I said, I have no complaints. That's the only card I really want in this set. Like I said, the Charizard and stuff is there just because I don't want to buy it later because I don't like buying it. But not getting it doesn't disappoint me. That, like I said, I'd be kind of sad because I really did want that for the artwork. And that's one of the few cards where I'm like, man, I just want that for the artwork. I don't even care what the card says. I don't care anything else about the set. I just want that one card for the artwork. Like, that's how I was for Shining Legends. Um, there was a couple cards in Shining Legends that I wanted. But the Secret Rare Mewtwo from that... Was my favorite card until this point. I want to say now it's tied with that one. Like, I love the artwork on that. I'm definitely going to say it's a tie. Um, as far as my favorites. So those are my two favorites now. Secret Rare Mewtwo from Shining Legends. And the alternate art trio that I just opened. I think this is the worst one of these. It just looks like garbage in my opinion. I'm still happy I pulled the best one though in my opinion. The one that <laughs> she's underwater. I forget. I don't even remember the girl's name. But she had a wishy-washy. Uh, school form and she was underwater. Is it Lena or Lana? I don't know what it was, but I can't remember. I only got two packs, three packs left, including this one. So if my camera dies, I'm sorry, guys, but I showed as many codes as I could if I remember. Um, and I got the card I was looking for. So, but no secret rares. Yeah, so no secret rares. Um, which, like I said, not a huge deal because I did actually get the um, two full arts. And one alternate art. No, I'm sorry. One full art, one alternate art. So I'm happy with that. But uh, so I don't know how I feel about that. No secret rare in my box, which normally you get a secret rare in a box. But um, like I said, I, overall, I'm so happy with my pulls 100%. I got one more after this. Um, 100%, I'm happy with my pulls. <laughs> All because I got that one card. Um, all right, last pack. Still a chase of secret rare in here, but nah, I feel like there's no secret rare in here. I can tell. Um, but yes, I'm happy with my polls. Like I said, no no complaints for me. I did get a secret rare today, which normally I only get one secret rare when I'm opening uh, some packs like this. So it's not even like it's a disappointment because I did get that. So, yeah. All right. Not a bad day overall. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make this ending quick just because, like I said, I got to leave because the camera's about to die. Um, I'll be opening the, another box pretty soon. It'll probably come up maybe a couple days after this one. Like, I, I never, I always record and it always takes a while for the videos to get posted. But um, I'm opening up some Hidden Fates. I have 52 Hidden Fates packs. I found a bunch in Walmart. So I'll be opening those up probably next week. So, but it'll still probably get uploaded in a day or two after this one because, like I said, it take forever to upload these videos. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully you get the codes, get something good. Let me know if you get something good in the comments. Um, and yeah, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm going to go back to this card. I don't care. <laughs> this card is so pretty. Oh, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's, it's just gorgeous. And I'm not even doing a good justice because of the lighting in here, but oh my goodness, that card. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to stop messing with you. Let me put this on top where it belongs on the top of the pile. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.